Hey, what's going on? My name is Frank the Man. I'm a barber and cosmetologist, and you tuning into the Frank the Man TV show, where I teach you how to increase your income, increase your marketing tactics, and teach you how to cut hair, new techniques, things you ain't never seen before. Stick around, and I'm gonna show you how to do just that. Let's get it. All right, guys, so we're gonna jump right into it. So what this is, is we're turning a undercut into a simple slick back, right? Now, if you don't even know what an undercut is, you're about to find out. An undercut is pretty much the Macklemore, right? The PG Auto, the, um, who else has this? I believe, it, it looks like, a, like a mad, you know the man buns? The man buns hanging off like this, you know what I mean? And bro, Mariano, my bad, fam. <laughs> You're probably watching this like, bro, what the hell? You know, I'm your client. You know what? I could have cut this out, but it's funny. You know what I mean? However, though, yo, mind you, there's badass the samurais, bro, who had this. So, you know what I mean? That's that's what a that's what an undercut is, to say the least. And all we're doing, guys, is look, we part it, and then we just chop it off. Part it, right? And just chop it. That's it. That, that's all I do. I part it and then I chop it. I part it and then I chop it. And by part it, obviously, I mean I run the comb, I part it with the comb, and then I chop it. And here I am, I'm doing the back now. Boom, 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 boom. You see, and, and that's really all I do. It That's the quickest way to go ahead and, and, and take this undercut apart, you know? And here I have all this, this chunk of hair here, right? I'm, I'm deciding what it is that I want to do with it. Very simple. Whenever you're cutting large amounts of hair like this, make sure that, it, that it's damp, you know? I'm over here looking like, I think I, I sprayed the mask, you know? I think I, I overly, casi lo bañé, you know? I almost gave my man a shower with that bad boy. Make sure you don't over spray, guys. All right, so here are his bangs. All I'm doing here is, if you saw what I did there, I went ahead and created my guideline right in the middle, right? I took the shears right behind his his bangs from the, from the beginning, and I met him in the middle. And now all I'm doing is the same thing, other side now. Boom, 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 boom. And what I did in the beginning, guys, again, is just like, all I did was I, I, let, I went to the peak of his eyebrow, and that's where I chose to part the hair backwards. That way, any hair that hangs off, I just chop off. And right here, I'm just creating my first guideline. It's called a Mohawk guideline. I'm taking off about uh, an inch of hair on top. And that's it. And remember, in the middle of the head is the apex of the head. So that's the highest part of the head. I tend to always start there. So and because it is the highest part of the head. Uh, and I'm just doing the back. Same thing. So all I'm doing now, since I have my middle guideline, I'm parting the hair an inch apart. And I'm grabbing the hair that I want to go ahead and cut. And notice here, however the hair grows is how you want to cut it. If it grows like that, cut it like that. If it grows like that, cut it like that. You never want to over direct hair. If you do, then it's not going to be 100% accurate. Notice that when I part the hair in the middle, the hair is shorter, and that's because that's where my guideline is at. My Mohawk guideline, you see? And then all I do is I meet it. No over directing. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, you see? And this also gives the hair a nice shape because you're cutting in a round shape. Essentially, you're just cutting the hair how the hair grows out, you know what I mean? So then the, the hair is already shaped when you slick it back. You see, and as I get towards the front, I'm cutting a whole lot less. And why? That's because you always want to cut hair a lot uh, longer in the front, shorter in the back for the simple fact that if people want to pump their hair in the front, they can, you know what I mean? And also, the only really thing the only really thing that does matter is, I mean, is the whole entire hair that matters, right? But however, you don't want to have long hair in the back pushing the hair in the front. So that's why I cut it shorter. And all I'm doing now is cross-checking. See, I missed all that hair. And by cross-checking, I mean, I was cutting horizontally, now I'm cutting vertically. 
you see and if you see here the hair is still hanging off so we're gonna part it again and I'm using shears to do it if you want to be fancy do so you know it doesn't matter same thing people say oh I like the texture the shears leave and here I'm just letting him know hey bro do you want me to go ahead and uh leave hooks there do you want me to clean that up you know what i mean so i can leave it kind of dark by your sideburn area and i believe he said yes or no or i think i told him we usually fade them out yeah because yeah i didn't hook it yeah so we are gonna fade it out all right cool and that's just a consultation guys obviously you do it in the beginning but uh before i i, I always hook somebody i always got to make sure that you know what i mean they do want them or they don't want them just to save myself like four or five minutes you know And right here, all we're gonna be doing is a basic fade. I pretty much already turned this into a slip. Like if you see, it's not hanging off no more. And uh, that is the wall hero, guys. And that is the Baby Bliss uh, single foil no no that's that's a double foil yeah double foil shaver they have i right, do this is the best one i right. unsponsored i wish they did sponsor me you know what i mean but it is unsponsored guys and that bad boy man that bad boy hits this right here is the wall uh the wall senior with the convex blade on you know what i mean i like to use this one and and, and the other wall five star senior with the con uh, concave bait, I believe. It just leaves it sharper, that's it. I mean, one hits closer than the other. So I did, created a zero guideline, right? Then I went ahead and created a second guideline with the one and a half guard. Now I'm hitting that same one and a half guideline with the number two, right? There you go, fading it out with clipper over comb. So now, right, we're trying to take care of that top guideline that I created with the one and a half. So whatever guy, whatever, line you make and if you make it with a one and a half that's what's going to take it out and obviously a number two which is a step above will kind of soften that up you know what i mean here's my zero guideline i dropped the lever slightly closed so i'm fading it out doing the same thing as you go up the lever goes down you understand so as you go up the lever goes down and see, my client here, he has that type of hair that, that, that's fine, fine, thin hair. So it's, it's really easy to fade. And right here, all I'm looking uh, is for any dark spots. When you're dealing with this kind of hair, guys, it's a little difficult because hair is denser in other areas. You know what I mean? And by denser, I mean dark in other areas, meaning there's more hairs per square inch in, in certain areas. So you have to do a lot of corner work. You have to make sure that you're always, you know, hitting the corners and making sure that everything is evenly dark where you want it to be, you know? Boy, Louie just arriving right there. So I'm, right, I'm doing... Um, I always bald an inch below. So here we go, guys. Zero guideline, 0 0.5 guideline. So zero guideline, 0 0.5 guideline. Now that's the one and a half guideline. There. You can't see the one because it's a, it's a black number one, but it's right there. And then now, right, I did the one and a half, so I'm fading it out. I'm, I'm touching it down with the one with the uh, with the number two. Back with the number one guard on there fading that out i don't use a number three guard when i'm fading the reason why is, is you just grab the clip over comb and it's super easy you know number two hitting up that dark line line up there i said you know what i'm gonna let it rock i'm gonna come over here there's something about flow you know what i mean and when you're flowing you just want to just keep going so here we go Number two, right? I wanna I wanna have a clean canvas. Before I start fading, I like I don't like to have hair, a lot of hair over my first guideline. So that's why I fade that top guideline. You know what I mean? So what I, that's the number two on top, right? And I'm fading it with the one and a half. Now I'm using the clipper over comb method, holding at a 30 degree angle, fading it out, grab my one and a half guard, touch softening up that guideline. 
now and now I'm doing the second guideline which is a 0 0.5 guideline faded it out and like I said as you go up and you're bringing the fade the lever is going down before I style it I like to wet his hair and since he has curly wavy hair I blow dry it straight and then I blow dry it back and make sure every time you blow dry hair that it's it's damp and right here just slick it in back right um good hair does not come from the jar great hair comes from styling and blow drying and then finishing it off with product so make sure you educate your clients on on great hair techniques don't just give your, your clients good hair style the hair for them educate them about the products that you use you know what i mean you don't ever want to use a product that you do not sell you know in-house and uh, and one is so you can go ahead and create you know create those retail product sales uh second so you can ensure that your client you know what i mean looks his best because he's already trusting you with his hair why not have him trust you with the shampoo that you use the uh the products the essential oils you're gonna make more money so here you guys this has turned into a regular slick back hair this concludes this video i hope it was educational i know i talk a lot i've missed you guys i, I know you guys miss me as well and um i really appreciate the support thank you make sure to hit that subscribe button make sure to hit that like button it helps with you know the algorithm and all that good stuff thank you guys i appreciate you and i got more stuff coming out man thank you peace All right, guys, so story time as to where the hell have I been? I've taken a hiatus. Uh, I'm thinking almost a whole year hiatus. Uh, honestly, man, I was building a, a, a two, 1980 Buick Regal. Um, for those of you who know and those of you who don't know, it's a classic car. Um, and it's to say the least, that's what I've been at. You know what I mean? I've also been getting my mind right, kind of been going back and forth where I want to take this channel. Um, to you know where I want to take this channel, and I realized no, I want to. I went back to my original goal, which is uh, I want to teach classes eventually. I want to teach classes, get massive amounts of subscribers, so I can go ahead and go to massive amounts of places where I can go ahead and and inspire people and and help them, help them pretty much reach their full barber potential, cosmic potential, and and if I can do that, um, I I'll be happy with this channel. You know what I mean? I know that's a crazy goal, but I mean, it's just a dream of mine, man. And like it, that, that, that's, that's one of my dreams. <laughs> my daughter's game is in the back. Well, I'm trying to be serious in this video. Um, that's one of my dreams, man, is to travel the U.S. and teach classes. I've kind of altered my goal on this. And uh, I want to go back, man. I just, I love to inspire people. I love to help people. And that, that's a burning desire of me, inside of me. And that's what makes you want to get up, you know what I mean? Get up and work out. Get up and feel me. Get up and do all of that. So uh, this is where I'm taking this channel. Um, I'm doing two videos a month. Here's one. There's another one coming next week. I appreciate you guys for sticking around out and subscribing. Um, give this video a thumbs up. Thanks so much for sharing. Thanks so much for liking. If you can, drop a comment. And let's get it, man. It's going to be a great year. Let's, let's tackle our goals together, man. Y'all have a good one. Take care. Thank y'all. Peace. That's not the one. That's not the one. And increase your haircut, babies. Hi, precious. Hi. Come here, man. Man, mommy. Un besito, mira. Say hi. Say hi to the camera, mira. Yeah, how you guys doing? Come here to play.